Oh, my fucking camera is crooked as crap, y'all. I can't. I can't even deal with it. <laughs> Finally, I'm dead enough. But hey, y'all, I'm just, you know, haven't posted in a few days. I don't know. I just, I don't know. I just haven't been feeling it, you know? I've just been going through it. Honestly, I ain't even gonna lie to you. I don't know. I just haven't really been wanting to, like, go out that much and, like, stress and stress and depressed, I guess you could say. I don't know. I say that. You guys can't even freaking see me. Hold on. As I was saying, I'm like... I don't know I recent so I recently graduated freaking college right and like you would think like okay cool like you graduated like yeah you you have time to relax all that crap but me my mindset is like oh like I graduated I need to find me a job I need to start you know working and getting my own money and all of that stuff and it's like immediately like even before I even graduated I was already like applying accident and, prone area okay we were I was already applying and already you know stressing about it and trying to get a job and trying to communicate with people and make connections so I can you know put my best foot forward and get out there right so I'm just I'm graduated now and I'm like I graduated in February it's been what like almost two months now oh <sighs> it's just annoying to me it's very annoying like trying to get a job in a creative um in a creative industry and like they tell you you don't get the job right but they don't tell you why they didn't pick you and they don't tell you like how to improve you know they don't give you feedback just like it's so stressful it's so stressful you work i worked so hard in school and like i constantly had to come up with ideas for games i constantly had to create games i constantly had to you know put the make these games and work on teams and all of this crap and i'm like okay how about Analyzing my portfolio current traffic conditions continuing Ugh, navigation with navigation is route. so annoying so i have it all kilometer traffic enforcement camera for red light and speed exceeding 60 kilometers per hour well that's literally everybody on the freaking In road because meters. we're all going 80. safe driving well she dropped a little bit too much for me she about to get turned off but i'm about to just drive off into the freaking sunset like we're on 12 today but anyways so like yeah i worked so hard on these projects and everything like that i have it on my portfolio i have a portfolio safe the driving monitoring zone in 500 meters traffic and just over it today like what the freak like i just got emails and it just ruined everything for me today like i just got upset because i hate being told that i didn't get the job and i don't like like okay i understand you didn't pick traffic me but enforcement camera for red light and speed exceeding 60 kilometers per hour okay i get it i didn't get the job but i just want to know why and what what I need to improve on to like, you know, get a job. I want a job. Like, it's not even that, like, I'm just trying to get a game design job and I'm, try I'm not trying, I'm not only trying to get a job in the game design industry, I'm trying to get a job in general. Like, I can't even freaking get a job at the commissary. Like, I, I apply, like, I applied like to four or five positions there. Like, and I like, it's crazy it's crazy and it's just ra it's raggedy like i don't understand what's going on what did i do what did i not do what am i not presenting myself what am i not doing because my, my resumes please my, drive safely my resumes have been checked my resumes you know they're good like what am i not doing and you know another aspect of this whole thing is that in the gaming industry the black black community makes up only one percent of it like i'm trying not to go there but like i'm kind of like starting to feel it like it is i've applied for like over 100 jobs like literally and i'm not applying for jobs that are like over my you know over my experience like i know i don't have i don't have um game design um industry well i can say i do because my school was you know like a work real life experience you know in the game design industry and all of that stuff but it's like i don't know i don't have like real real experience but i went to school for two years like two almost yeah two years blood sweat and tears day in and day out creating video games coding bug testing and all, all of this, and you mean to tell me I can't get a job? Like, the proof is in the pudding. My resume is popping. My portfolio is popping. 
what am I not doing that everybody else is doing? Literally, I'm literally just ranting right now, but I don't know. It's just like, I just been like, so, you know, out of it lately because it's bothering me that I can't get, get the job that I went to school, that I went to school for to get, you know? And it's like, I know it's only been two months, but dang, I'm tired of like, just sitting here. I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm those, those 30 year old kids that still live with their parents, even though I'm, I'm only 22. Like, and I just got, I just graduated and got my bachelor's. Like, I don't care. I, I feel like it. I just feel like, like, I'm not, I'm not contributing and I want to get a job. I just want a job and I want to start my life and I want to start, you know, doing things for myself. I'm not saying that I don't think, do things for myself, but it's just tragic and stressful and I'm about over it, like literally. And a lot of people are like, oh, why don't you join the military and stuff like that? I'm like, I know, like that's my last resort. And and I will, but if they, I'm going, I'm, I, the only one I'm gonna join is the Air Force. And if the Air Force, they don't give me officer, I'm not gonna join, I'm not doing enlisted. I'm just not doing it. I have a whole bachelor's degree. Like, why would I do enlisted? Attitude. Well, I feel like I'm gonna have an attitude. And you know, I just don't wanna get into something and I feel trapped and I can't get out. Because like, I think the lowest you can sign is like what, a two year contract? And then like, there's a four year contract. So I don't know. And then I was like, before when I was gonna join, cause I was gonna join for real before I even started going to college, uh, started going for my bachelor's, I was gonna get in, I was gonna go. But I was like, oh, driving monitoring zone. Okay, I was like, oh, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna go in for life or whatever, cause you know, go in, in and then you just meters. retire. I don't know. I just got in my head about it, and I don't know. I kind of got scared. I'm not gonna lie. I low-key got scared. Safe because driving monitoring zone. One thing about me is I'm a visionary, and I always I like to see the path ahead before I take it. You know, like. Who wouldn't want to know what's ahead before you go? But like, that's just not how life works. You just go and you just do what you're supposed to do. Like if you had a guaranteed path, like people's lives would be so much different. They wouldn't have done the things that they did and the things that got done to them wouldn't have got done to them or the things that happened to them wouldn't have happened to them. You know, it's crazy. I just, if I had it my way, I would have like seen my vision and seen my different paths that I could have taken and I would have took the best path. And that's the thing that's like so super stressful to me. And like why I stress out so much because I try, I try to make the best choice and it's hard. Yeah. <laughs> Enough of my TED talk, what the freak? Like I just came out the blue just going crazy talking bull crap. Analyzing current but traffic conditions. Continuing navigation I'm, with current um, route. Anyway, I didn't even tell you guys where I'm about to go. I'm on the way to Starbucks. I'm going to get a drink. I was going to bring my freaking Starbucks cup that I got. One of the two that I got. Because I got free drink coupons. So I'm going to go get a drink and I'm probably going to get a snack. And then I guess we're just going to talk a little bit in the car or whatever, you know. Okay, you guys. So I'm in. As you can. <laughs> See, it's kind of a big one too, honestly. Kind of drive through and everything. But, um, I'm gonna go get my stuff and I'll be back. All right, y'all, I'm back with my drink. It's called, looks like this is purple at the bottom and black at the top. It's called a Midnight Bergamot, Midnight Bergamot Cobra. And of course, they're gonna be a wood straw. Girl, I wish I really would have brought my own cup. They have some cute cups in there. The new ones, some new ones. They look like tropical. They look tropical. Oh, this is good. Oh. <laughs> Why did I get it before? Hold on. Let me mix it up. Uh. Hold on, but that coffee is on 12. I should've been like, just give me the purple stuff. Get like a snack out of there, but I just didn't really see nothing. And I just didn't really feel the urge. So I was just like, nah, I'm okay. So yeah, that's what I got. I came to Starbucks, you know, because I just felt like I needed to get out the house, you know, just have a little talk with y'all because I was really feeling like I was on one, for real, hot mess. 
my Starbucks. And um, I'm supposed to be going on a um, going on a trip with my family this weekend. We're going to uh, I don't know why I was about to say Dubai. Girl, we're not going to no Dubai. We're going to um, then we're going to Daegu. It's a city here in South Korea. <clears throat> it's really nice. So I'm definitely gonna be filming there and like showing you guys everything and everything like that. So you guys can and will be looking forward to that. <laughs> so yeah. Right now. Oh, right now I need to go home so I can pack because we're leaving tomorrow. I didn't pack. I, I didn't even think that we were going to go until like later on tomorrow. And I didn't even know that tomorrow was tomorrow. Child, I'm looking crazy. I'm looking like the, <laughs> some crazy YouTubers that just get on camera and just be talking crazy about their depressive feelings and stuff. Which like, I don't really, I never really have been depressed before. Like, I never really have. Like, and this is like the first time I'm actually like going through it. Like, no, it's actually not. It's not. It's actually not. It's not. I'm lying. Because when I was going through school, I was going through it. Like, I was going through it. But now that I feel like I'm done, I feel like since I accomplished that, I need to get a job. And I need to, like, you know, do what I need to do. And another crazy thing was I was supposed to get my wisdom teeth pulled tomorrow at 10 a.m. But I had to get it rescheduled because we were going on this, this trip. My parents, my parents told me, like, literally, excuse me, though, like, two days before my appointment, if we were going, I was like, um, did y'all forget that I had my wisdom teeth pulled? My blah, blah, blah. Oh my gosh, my teeth were supposed to be pulled. Um, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay. So I was like, did you forget that my teeth were supposed to get pulled that day or whatever? And then they were like, oh yeah. And then, like, literally the worst thing here is like, they don't have enough, enough doctors to freaking schedule people correctly. Literally, I made my appointment, I, I, mind you not, my appointment was made two months down the way because they said that they were booked up. So literally, I made my appointment and I, like, so you know, you guys know, I do not like needles. I don't like needles. I, I might as well say I have a phobia of them because if I see some needles and I'm gonna get poked, I start laughing and I like, you know, I don't know, I just don't like needles. That's just not my thing. So, I don't like needles, um, yeah, so I have to get, and then, okay, a cra another crazy thing here is that they don't knock you out, they will just give you, they will just give you gas. They won't knock you out! That's crazy, like, I want to get knocked the freak out. I don't want to deal with it, I don't want to be awake, I don't want to feel it, I don't want to feel any pressure, I don't want to be conscious, I don't want to hear my tooth come out of my mouth, you know? I want to be knocked out, you know, force, just sleep, you know? Sleep. And they don't do that here. So what they were saying to me is that they can do they can do um, some gas on me or whatever that like I guess calms you down, and then they're gonna numb my gums and then they're gonna they're gonna like put the the stuff in it to make to make it where I can't fill my gums. And plus I have to get my cavities filled too. Love it, love it, love it. All of this. Like I'm just like at this point just take out all my teeth, and I won't have to ever come back again. Like just give me dentures. I'm good. Just give me dentures. So, yeah, um, I'm gonna hate that day forever, and I wanted to just get it over with on the 8th, but we have this, and we're supposed to be going on a vacation. You know, on your vacation, you eat good, like, you try new food and everything, so I was like, oh, okay, I can't really do it, because I think I'm, and bro, they don't even give you, like, good, um, good, um, good stuff for after your surgery, like, you literally get Motrin and, um, Tylenol, and that's it. Where is the... Where's the painkillers? Where's the Novocaine? Like my And I'm gonna be like, oh, just take a Motrin. What am I gonna do with that? Like, <laughs> so now, long story short, my schedule, my, my, the next time that they had the freaking available was all the way May, May uh, 27th. So I'm like, okay, really? Like, that's the weekend of my mom's birthday. I don't know what we're going to be doing. They're like, oh, well, the next one is June 2nd. I'm like, okay, well, that's my dad's birthday too. Like, what the heck? So we had a schedule on, um, we had a schedule on May 27th. And she was like, oh, if anything comes open, I will call you and let you know. And I'm like, well, I hope I'm on the top of the list because you already know how I was. And you guys, oh, I didn't tell you guys about that. So I went in for my consultation. I'm just talking about too many things at once. But the long story short, I just don't even like this dentist to begin with. They were, they're like annoying to me. Like they don't have their stuff. They're always wasting my time. It's just irritating. I sound like an irritable 
um, consumer, but like seriously, like seriously, I went for my um, my consultation for my wisdom teeth to get pulled. I I mind you, I tell you not. Like literally, I came in there 20 minutes early because you know you're supposed to come early for your appointment. Literally, I sat in there for um, not even counting the 20 minutes. I sat in there for an hour waiting for my appointment. You guys know how mad I was when they finally called me to the back. I was on 12. Like I have never been so mad about something. Like I was so mad because it's like something that I don't even want to get done. Like I already didn't want to come in. And you guys have me sitting here waiting for an hour. And then while my freaking appointment that I had tomorrow, they had a schedule with a doctor that can't even do IV sedation. So I'm like, okay, so you guys, mind you, you guys are just gonna just give me some gas and you're gonna, you know, yank out my teeth. Now, if I can still feel it on the gas, you guys are gonna have to do IV sedation or I'm just gonna sit there and just, you know, yell for my life right like hello i could and i made it clear i was like okay i want to get it scheduled i didn't know there was different doctors and different things and you know literally it's weird because they say that some doctors um only come there once a week or once a month and i'm like that's stupid get some more doctors so just a hot mess it's just a mess and i'm tired long story short <laughs> long story short they messed up my appointment that was supposed to be tomorrow. They put it with the doctor that just does gas and he doesn't do IV sedation. So they were about to have, a, have me set up in there just doing gas while they're yanking teeth out my freaking mouth while I'm conscious. Hello? If I needed, if I needed IV sedation, if I was like, okay, I still feel it. Like, I, okay, just do IV sedation. I wouldn't even have the option. I don't even like the place. I don't even want to go. I just want to go somewhere where they can knock me out completely and just take that junk out. Thank you. Thank you, the freak. I don't want, no. I don't like needles. This video has just been a hot mess and I just been talking crazy all day. I'm sorry about that, y'all. <laughs> There's no schedule to this program. I'm just being crazy at this point. But I feel like I'm done rambling. Um, I'm gonna head home, got my Starbucks. Um, this drink is so freaking good. I wish I would've got it the first time I seen it, hello? You guys, I'm gonna stop talking your guys' ears off. Um, this is basically the reason why I haven't been filming lately. I mean, I guess it kind of sounds like an excuse, but you know, I just haven't really been feeling it, you know? I don't know, like I guess I kind of like, I kind of like try to distract myself with normal things I do, like playing the video, playing the game or watching TV or interacting with my family. But in reality, like, I'm just dying on inside and <clears throat> I'm stressed out. I just want to get a job and feel like I have a purpose rather than just sitting around. And I just feel like I just want to start my life. Thank you guys so much for the subscribe, for 67 subscribers. Thank you guys so much for taking your time to watch my videos. I really appreciate you guys and peace out. I'm gonna go home.